back with another visual from your boy original and you see what we got going on man another jordan for your head top before we get into these chrome sixes make sure you like your comment your share and your subscribe all is greatly appreciated thank you Okay, so you see what we got going on, y'all. We got the Jordan 6 Chrome right here. These joints is fire. I'm waiting all year for these, and they finally released. Okay, someone comment down below and let me know what's better. The low chromes or these right here? Me personally, I like the low chrome 6s. Those are fire in my humble opinion. There's something about the low chrome 6, man. It just does something to me. I'll take those over these any day. Don't kill me in the comments down below. It's my opinion. It's my channel. But you're free to let me know what you prefer. So, these right here. Okay, let me get back to the chrome 6s. The last time we seen the low chromes was 2015. These released November 26, 2022. And I'm so happy I acquired them. I'm so happy I have them in my collection. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a real simple shoe. But with an outfit, you can do these crazy. In this video, as well as all my other videos, we will be discussing colorway, quality, and if you should cop or not. Let's start with the colorway. Okay, so on the bottom of the sole, we have a translucent icy sole with some black and that chrome jump man at the bottom. Continuing on to the midsole, we have that chrome on our back. We have that glossy black finish towards the center midsole. And we have that rubber black toe cap on our front. Continuing on to the medial lateral toe box is all of a suede. We have a black suede throughout this whole chrome six. So there's not a lot of explanations that I have to do with this shoe right here. The whole upper is of black suede. Continuing on to the tongue, we have a black neoprene tongue. We have our flat black rope laces. We have that lace cover, which is of a stretchable mesh material with the chrome Jumpman on front of that. And we have the black lace lock with the Jordan Jumpman in chrome. Continuing on to the back here, we have a black rubber above the black rubber we have a chrome 23 we have the black stitched jump man on our pull tab here we have it in black rubber and we have that nice shiny visible chrome finish on our pull tab here when it comes to colorway these are fairly simple you know what i'm saying so simple it's kind of crazy but i love sixes especially in this colorway the infrareds the uncs the electric greens all have this same colorway the dmps which is really simple, but less was more in this case. When it comes to the six, I feel like less is more. You know what I'm saying? I love the Jordan six in this form right here, where it's all black and a little bit of hit of color on it. Comment down below if you agree. But when it comes to colorway, I'm gonna rate these a six out of 10. Can't give it more than a six because it's so simple, but the chrome, on here it just talks to you man you go it's visible and i love that okay continuing on to the quality quality is pretty much standard we don't have anything out of the ordinary we don't have the best of the best materials we don't have the best of the best of suede on these i feel like jordan brand understands we're at the closing of the year you know what i'm saying so i don't feel as if they wanted to give us the best of the best with this they understand we're gonna buy these anyway so we have mediocre quality okay starting at the bottom of the sole we have a icy translucent rubber sole at the bottom our black is in rubber and that supposed it's supposed to be chrome but it's silver it's supposed to be chrome but it's gray jump in on the, on the bottom is in rubber as well continuing on to the midsole the whole midsole is of rubber the chrome you see there is rubber the black gloss finish you see here is rubber and the rubber toe cap on the front our whole medial and lateral side consists of suede and no it does not rub on rub off like that mr miyagi so that's that's why I'm calling it suede, not new book. New book, you really have that. You can rub your fingers against it and see it change color. This, we don't, this is not the case with these. Continuing on to the tongue, we have a stretchable mesh material on our tongue. You have the neoprene behind the laces. Continuing on, this cover we have for our laces is in a stretchable mesh material with the chrome six patch 
on top. Continuing on to the back of the shoe, our whole midsole again is in rubber. We have that chrome 23 and a, like a plastic finish. We have that pull tab at the top of the heel, black rubber, and we have that chrome finish gloss on our pull tab. These are fire. Like I said, the quality is not out of, out of the ordinary. It's really, really satisfactory. I have no complaints about these whatsoever. They're fire. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to quality, I'm gonna rate these a five out of 10. I feel like they could have done a little better, but like I said, I'm not complaining. These are getting broken out. I don't know when, but when I post a pic on Instagram, y'all know. So continuing on to if you should cop or not. I believe you should cop. Prices aren't through the roof. Prices aren't crazy. If I'm not mistaken, these are going for about 10 to $20 above retail. I got these for 210. So if you check your local reselling websites or stores, they should be 10 to $20 above, which is not bad, if, especially if you really want them. For everyone, this wasn't really a highly anticipated release. so. I, I wouldn't expect to see the prices shoot through the roof or skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna stay fairly low for a long time. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. So should you cop? Yeah, cop them. It's at a nice, reasonable price right now. Grab it. Okay, so guys, I'm pushing 500 subscribers. Make sure you stay tuned to what I'm doing. I got a giveaway coming at 500 subscribers. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. When I drop a video at 500 subscribers, and when you're following me on my platforms and you comment, the first one to comment will be receiving the giveaway. That is what you have to do to receive the giveaway. Make sure you're following me. Stay tuned because once that, per that person who's following me and comments is getting it, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, thank you for rocking with me, y'all. You know, I really appreciate you guys. I wouldn't be this far if it wasn't for you guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Before I get into the on foot segment of this video, make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated. Thank you.